Goody, goody, thank you. That lets me play. Come round the corner and go up that way. I have four. I have to pick up. Oh, I know. Here. I'm out. That one See, goes look at there. that. She's out. You take eight, dear. Eight dominoes. Living in Riviera here. I love it. All right, yeah. you turn there. Very good. Everyone is just nice. We're all like one family. And my family know that. They'll say, Mom, you have a good life. And I'll say, yes, I do. I'm very happy. So it makes them that they're content also, knowing I'm all right. I mean, my son will say to me, when are you going to come and stay with me, Mom? With his wife and him. And I'll say, Alan, I'm too busy. We're busy doing things at Riviera. Uh, we'll see sometime. If you're content with your life, you have a happy life. My name is Nessie Coltheart. I am 90 years old. I was born in Scotland. At 17, I was out working every day. I was out working from I was 14 years old in Scotland. We didn't have much opportunity at all. There was very few jobs in the town where I lived. Then I came to Canada in 1947 when I was 18. I was here, I got a job at Bell Telephone, which I liked, but I was so homesick. I went back to Scotland in 1949. At that time, my boyfriend, who'd been in the forces, talked about getting engaged and getting married. My husband's name was Jack. He grew up in the same small town that I grew up in. And he said, Nessie, I want to emigrate. I says, I think Jack will go to Canada because I have a job waiting for me. So from there we came to Canada. The two of us just clicked. I have three children. We had 62 and a half years of married life, but he passed away. I miss my husband, period. I always remember my daughter saying, why did you emigrate? I emigrated to give you ones a better chance in life because you didn't have that in Scotland after the war. You just had to do and take what there was. But I'm so happy I came to Canada. It gives me more opportunity in life than I could ever have. But I wanted to be independent. So Canada has been a great country to me. I've learned always to be truthful and to try and be friendly with other people. I think humans should be, instead of always thinking about themselves all the time, thinking about the other person. It's quality of life you want, not quantity. And really, if you're content with your life, you have a happy life. And that's it.